Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have been asked to take a look at the Nursal Shiatsu Pillow Massager with Heat. So what I've started doing just every so often, just to mix it up for you, is looking at the product with you at the exact same time. So I haven't looked at the box, I don't know what's inside it, I don't know how it works, but I thought we could actually discover it together. So by looking at the box, you can see that it's got the four deep kneading shiatsu massager nodes. It's got the 3D kneading head design. It's got the adjustable straps for easy use and it's also got the heating functionality and it's got the 15 minute auto shut off. And from experience, because these products tend to be so relaxing and so effective at helping to loosen the tight and tired muscles, that if it's anything like I'm expecting, then as soon as those 15 minutes are finished, you're pressing start all over again until you drain that battery and you have to charge it up. So let's take a look and see exactly what's inside. Now, before we even open up, it's actually very reassuring that on the side of the box it tells you who should not use it. Quite often you don't know whether to use a product or not, you don't know if it can cause you any damage, if you've got any pre-existing conditions. It says very clearly on the side, people who should not use this device. People with osteoporosis, heart problems, wearing electronic medical devices such as pacemakers. Now, pregnancy or menstruation, now, with the menstruation, I would say that might be erring on the side of caution because if you're using this as a neck massager, then I would say, personally, from my own experience, you would probably be okay. It could be that they're just being extremely cautious here. Um, persons with a wound around a possible contact area, yes, if you've got any areas of open skin, any irritations, don't use a product like this near that area because all you're going to do is disrupt the healing or irritate any existing conditions that are there. And remember, if you've got swelling, irritation or broken skin and you don't know why, then don't have anything, basically any treatment around that area because you don't know what's causing it. There could be something going on inside and you could simply irritate it and make it worse. So if in doubt, don't do it. Also says if you're not feeling well, um, if you're under 12, or if you were told by your GP to what, basically watch what you're doing. So these all make perfect sense. And again, if you're not sure, you can always check with your own GP just to make sure that you're okay to invest in a product. But for the most part, it's common sense. So we can see here we've got our instructional leaflet. So I'll take a look at that shortly. And we've got the massager itself. So I'll just pop this box away. Um, we have also got within it what looks like the charger. And as is the case with quite a few of these products, you tend to have your mains adapter and also an adapter for the car, which I quite like. That's quite a good idea. So let's take a look. So as you can see, I've not opened this before. It's quite a nice weight. It's got weight to it, but it's not heavy. Um, okay, what have we got here? Oh, it looks like we've got, I think we've got a controller here. Trusty scissors. Let's have a look. And again, when you're left-handed like me, I should actually try left-handed scissors. I don't think I've ever tried them. Somebody let me know if left-handed scissors are actually easier to use than the standard ones because I've never actually tried them. Okay, so what have we got here? So we've got the maker's name here. We have got what looks like a start and a stop. Also got some symbols here. Now I'm guessing this will be for our charging. Um, and this will be your adjustable straps here. So this will be your adjustable straps to pop around your neck. And this looks as if it's the part that will actually sit just around your neck, it looks, just by looking at it here. Now, I could be wrong if I'm wrong, we'll soon find out, because again, never actually opened this before. So, time for the instructions. What I'll do is I'll just quickly open them, but I'll do what I do in these other unboxing videos, have a quick look, and then get back to you and let you know what I found out. So, we've got, again, information here. Relaxation anytime, anywhere. And again, it's just letting us know that you can contact the company and you can also leave them feedback if you like the product on Amazon. And I've got a nice colour booklet and I've got your English beginning. Right, so this is what it's telling us here. So 
we have got detachable fabric cover now we have got in here ah, we've got the massage balls here we've got the power switch the leather and lattice cloth I'm guessing that again is to protect the massage the shiatsu massage element and also to add aid the relaxation and then yes as I thought we've got the DC connector there for charging instructions so you can use it on the neck, the back, the abdomen, the thighs, the arms, the calf. So again, as we were saying before, you can basically use it anywhere that you feel discomfort, as long as you know that you're not causing yourself any injury. So I will be back in a matter of seconds and I'll do a quick demo for you. I've read the instructions and there are a few things that are very handy to know. So this fabric part is detachable, but it feels super soft. So what you might want to do is keep it on because A, it protects the mesh, and it also means that there's a little bit of added protection from the actual shiatsu massage balls themselves. But if you don't like that feeling or you don't want it, then you simply unzip and then you just remove this. So it zips here and it zips there and you just remove it completely. But what you can see is you've got this gap here. So that's where your neck would fit in very comfortably. If you're using it on your calf or your thigh, anywhere like that, you get the natural dip to it. But what I also quite like is actually sitting it this way and you just feel the sort of the natural movement of when the shiatsu massager is doing its cycles and you just feel for your hand, I'll show you a demo in a sec, it's just very gently moving it about it feels so relaxing. Okay, this one does not have a charge in it, so it's always got to be mains operated or it does have the in-car adapter. Um, there's quite a precise do's and don'ts list within your instructional manual. So just make sure, personally I wouldn't use these when I'm driving, but they do say to use it with caution when you're driving. Um, it's up to the personal preference, but for me, I prefer to use these when I'm at home. They also ask that you don't massage directly over joints. That makes perfect sense because you can always damage a joint, you could disrupt. I've got hyperflexible knees, so you can imagine you shouldn't use this over the kneecap anyway, you shouldn't use it over the patella, but if you did, you could always cause the danger of some disruption. Um, worst case scenario, if you've got a very delicate joint, you could really cause it some injury, so don't do that. And the obvious thing with all these massages is never massage directly over the chest. Do not massage over the heart. So it, again, it's common sense, but I suppose there will always be someone that will say that they didn't know. So just make sure you read your instructions and pay attention to them. Um, so when you're plugging it into the mains, make sure that you clip this in very thoroughly. I made the mistake of just leaving it like this. You've really got to clip it. That's it, clip it in. So that way there's no no danger basically that you'll be using it and all of a sudden you think it stopped working, it's not stopped working, you've just not clipped this in properly. And then you've got your instructions basically. There's two clicks to this. Um, so the first click, which you can see here, you've got your heat and that's your rotational massage. Another click, you change the direction and then you're just using it cold. So again, it works for 15 minutes and then it will automatically cut off. If you want to stop it early, just hold for a few seconds and it stops. Now, the instructions say that if you want to keep using it, have a rest of 15 to 20 minutes, so don't keep using it continuously. So you can use it more than once, but give it either, I don't know if it's because they want you to give the machine a break so it doesn't overheat, or also they don't want you to overstimulate an area, but technically there's reasons for both. So I'm sure everyone knows how you use a massager. So if you want to check out how you use these, then you can definitely go onto the channel and we've got lots of demonstrational videos. If you would like to see any more on this one, then you can definitely let me know. But basically, just imagine that your neck's here. You're popping this just exactly where you want it. You can see the relaxation there. You can just see how it's manipulating. Again, if you press your body into the massager, you get a deeper pressure. If you release, you get a lighter pressure. But even just holding it, just you know when you get really tight, sore arms, that just feels amazing, just letting it do its thing. You're just relaxing your arm into it. Imagine that's your leg as well. Just let your leg relax. Let your calf 
let your quads relax. And then the other way that you can do it too is just resting along it. And it's more of a disruptive massage, but actually, again, it feels lovely because you're encouraging the muscles to relax and you're getting rid of any tension. You can just set your hand on here. Now, again, they say be careful when you're placing the hand on it. So just make sure that you're not doing anything that's going to cause any problems with the joints. But you're just stretching that out. So remember the neck's the obvious place, but there's so many different ways that you can use these products. Even just set your hand on it here and just completely relax. So that's with the heat on. There's both hands there, just relaxing. And again, you could, you could pop your feet on this. So you could be watching TV and just pop your feet on and just relax 15 minutes at a time. And what I'll do is I'll just turn this off just now and I'll unzip this and you'll be able to see even clearer. Here we go. So that's us removing that. Pop it back on again. So this is it just again. In fact, I'll pop it around this way. Turn it on. You can see the massage is very clearly there. So again, your neck would just be in here, just completely massaging. Just let it scoop and relax your head. Pop it on a leg, just completely relax. Already, see just the little bits here where you get, you know, you get tension in your hand just there. That feels great. Just relax in there. So yeah, my thoughts on this massager is I really like it. It's very convenient. Um, some massagers are a lot bigger and a lot heavier. Again, you use them for when you need to. Some massagers are extremely portable in the sense that they've got a charge in them so that you know that when you're charging them, you'll make sure that you've got enough to see you through. And then you've got chargers, or sorry, rather you've got massagers like this that are absolutely perfect for just sitting back, plugging it in, putting on a program that you really want to enjoy watching and just completely relax and use it on various different parts of the body and just help that tension to fade away. So if you like this video, if you like the demonstration, then don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment if you'd like to see a model or any more demonstrations of this product and I'll be happy to do that. I'll see you soon.